Hey, welcome to the sixth lesson of our tutorial series on how to convert your games into online multiplayers. For this lesson, we're going to be fixing a new problem that is being caused by our rotation of the camera in the last lesson. To demonstrate this problem, I'm going to build my project and play through it. Now that I have my project built, I'm going to click play in the standalone and play in the editor. Now since rotating our camera, we have the local player's paddle down on the bottom half of the playing field. And so for the standalone, this paddle is being controlled by the standalone, but is this paddle in the editor, and the editor is controlling this paddle, which is this paddle in the standalone. But what is not working is the display of our score. So if I hit spacebar, and I let it score on me, you'll notice that in both instances of my game, it looks like the other player has scored. But it should just be that way for the standalone. And so in the editor, these scores need to be swapped. So that's what we're going to be fixing in this lesson. Now to fix this, we're going to go to the ball controller script. Here in the ball controller script, if we scroll down to the on trigger enter function, we have these segments of code, which is where we're updating the text object with the player scores. This is for player one, and this is for player two. Now to fix this problem, we need to check to see if we are the master client or not. And so I'm gonna add in an if statement around this line of code, because this is where we're actually updating the text object. And this is going to be if photon network dot is master client. If we are the master client, then we want to do this line of code. But if we're not the master client, then we want to use text2 instead of text1. So I'm going to type else. I'm then going to copy this line of code, paste it in, and change it from text1 to text2. We then need to do the same thing for player2. And so I'm going to type if photon network dot is master client then we want to update text to, but if we're not the master client, then we want to update text one. And that should do it. So let's save this script. We'll go back to Unity, and then we'll build our project and test it out. All right, so here I have my project built out, and I'm gonna click play in the standalone and play in the editor. I can then start the ball moving, and once the ball scores, you can see that the opposite player has scored here, but the local player has scored in the editor. And the opposite thing happens for when the standalone scores. So now we've successfully made our game so that it doesn't matter whether you're player 1 or player 2, your paddle will always be on the bottom half of the playing field. This is a principle that can be found in a number of games. You can think of Clash Royale, or there's a game that I've been playing recently on the phone called Borderland Brawl. In Clash Royale, your base is always at the bottom of the screen, and the enemy's base is always at the top of the screen. In Borderland Brawl, your base is always on the left, and the enemy's base is always on the right. Now sometimes it's not as simple as just rotating the camera. But games like Pong make it extremely easy to just rotate the camera and fix the scoring. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to fix the scores so that they line up with the correct player.